Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a ton of hot content in NHL 21 with potentially the best master set player that we're going to have throughout all of NHL 21. I'm talking about better than any card that's been released. And I'm happy that, you know, later on in the year, it's obviously July HUD is one NHL is winding down as well as Hockey Ultimate Team. And now they're starting to have some fun with it. So I'm glad they waited this long because the cards that they released today... <sighs> They are some of the most overpowered, and we're going to break them all down as always. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you come check out my content you know, regularly, please hit the subscribe button. I have a goal by the end of 2021 to be at 50,000 subs. That is a lofty goal. I need your guys' help. All right, let's get into the latest Hut content. All right, so first thing I want to do is just discuss, I guess they're can technically like the prime times now uh but the shades of summer cards reflecting whether signings or trades specifically the ryan graves now a new jersey devil brandon carlo getting a re-sign uh kevin miller retiring actually and spets up for the leafs and anthony duclair out of all of these guys uh duclair is really the only usable one if you're just looking at straight cards that you could use and compete with whether you're still trying to get better at the game or compete in hockey or in hut champs uh the other ones it's just based on if you have a favorite player or things like that. If you have an all-time Leafs team that you're trying to build, that Spezza might be a little bit more, um, you know, um, attractive to go out and grab. Uh, but they're not really going to be at top of the game, and you could probably just avoid them. But specifically out of this set, Duclair, definitely usable. Uh, just he's always got max speed, and he always plays a little bit faster than he feels. But we've also got a ton of new Shades of Summer content. We've got the 96 Robin Laner. And again, all of these cards have multiple teams that they can be used. It looks like they're kind of highlighting flashbacks and cards that have been you know teams that they have played for in the past and that kind of helps out with if you're trying to build a theme team things like that robin laner is a good goaltender especially this one uh six foot four doesn't look like he's suffering from any of the stat caps and he's got 78 aggression so if you are a fan of robin laner this is a great card that you could definitely use and and compete with um at any level at this point in the game also got the 96 Ryan Johansson, 6'3", 218 with heart and soul, a workhorse, and passing playmaker, 6'3", obviously great size for a centerman. He's got max faceoffs if you have heart and soul on. Uh, and then speed is a little bit okay, but again, at 6'3", and at playing at center, you can get away with that. He's going to have 97 acceleration with spark activated, and with distributor, he's up to 94, so it's not completely detrimental. But yeah, if you're looking to get a Ryan Johansson, this is a great endgame card for him. Then we've got the 96 Justin Falk, Howitzer, Light the Lamp, and Barrage. If you have Barrage activated, I'm assuming at this point, um, if you've got a decent team, you pretty much have every team-based synergy activated. So with, with Howitzer on as well, you'll get 96 speed, acceleration can up to 96. And then he's got everything else maxed out. So um, again, it is kind of tougher to fill up defensemen at the end game. And this one fits the bill if you are looking to get a right shot defenseman. Nothing wrong with this 96 Justin Falk. Moving on to the 96 Jonathan Drew. He's got almost max speed, acceleration, skating, everything else 99. He is going to be a winger, though. Obviously, he is a left winger, but his faceoffs can't get high enough, so he's a pure left-handed winger card. If you are looking for Jonathan Drouin, this is a great endgame card. There's nothing wrong with him here, and he's got max body checking, essentially, with shutdown and gladiator active. I like that synergy combo on cards uh, that aren't, you know, that don't have a lot of bite. You can really make them useful. Uh, I always use this example throughout the year, but, like, Kale McCarr comes to mind. You can really make them uh, feel heavier than they actually are and play a little bit bigger so the Jonathan Druin is a, a good looking card here then we've got the 96 Brian McCabe swarm wingman and speedster uh, unfortunately unless you're looking to build uh, you know an older you know Toronto Maple Leafs theme team or maybe the Panthers I don't know uh, just really slow at this stage of the game he's gonna have 93 speed and uh, you know 93 acceleration everything else is essentially 99 so it's not gonna kill you uh, but at 62 that is okay size um, you know for the fact that he's got lower speed at 93 you can get someone like Dougie Hamilton and he's gonna just tower over that and have the same speed so just keep that in mind when you're looking to grab him but yeah yeah, theme team definitely he could be usable and then lastly we've got the 96 jacob verona six foot with balanced shutdown and howitzer which makes him you know basically maxed out 97 speed 95 acceleration everything else is 99 is a pure left and a winger card i'd much rather have Duran. uh but again if you're looking theme team guys like i mentioned this a lot at this stage of the game go after your favorite cards they release so many high-end cards at the end game because well they should and uh, you can really get creative with your lineup you're not really locked in like you are throughout the year early on when you're trying to compete so have some fun with it and this card is definitely usable 
the content doesn't stop there. We've got 99s to talk about. The 99 Howie Morenz, 5-9 with everything 99. Honestly, you don't need to do this upgrade. Basically, his gold master icon is fine enough if you do like Howie Morenz. Obviously, he's small. Um, so if you're the type of player that likes to, you know, doesn't like to just beeline down the boards, he's not going to fit your style. And you know that at this stage of the game. Um, but I loved Howie Morenz throughout the year and even last year as well. He's been one of my favorite cards. Um, but yeah, someone to look out for. There's no need to do the upgrade here, but still, obviously, the 99 Howie Morenz is a phenomenal card. And we've got another small guy in the 99 Martin St. Louis. Everything 99 here, and this is just going to be for playstyle, or if you're trying to build a theme team as well, this is a phenomenal card. But again, not really needing to be upgraded. He's kind of maxed out and everything compared to his Gold Master Icon. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, just kind of, I wouldn't put them both on your lineup. Having guys under five uh, five ten is uh, tough at this stage because everyone that has six foot and above can just throw you off the puck easily. But still, there's you know he's going to play really fast and shifty, and he's got a max shot. So and they off set the big guy with those other two smaller ones because we've got one of the best centers if not the best in the 99 matt sundin 65 everything 99 including speed this is it this is one of the best centers for the rest of the game there's no getting around it you can't teach size and matt sundin always one of the biggest this is an absolute must if you're looking to upgrade cards. He is phenomenal. Go ahead, get the 99, and uh, you'll be laughing. This is a great, great card. Now, I mentioned earlier some of the best content that we've got in Hockey Ultimate Team. Well, we've got new master set items for the Shades of Summer events, starting with the 98 Mika Zabinajad. He also has a 97, but I'm going to show you guys the 98 because you should just shoot for the fences at this point. 96 speed, everything else 99, and with heart and soul, you can play him at center. It's still blows my mind you know again it's something i'm gonna do everything in my power as a game changer to make sure that centermen have the highest rated face-offs because a 98 overall centerman shouldn't need synergies to get up to max face-offs unless he's brutal in real life uh so zabinajad 99 everything a getting up to 96 speed and will be an you know six foot two that's great size right-handed winger or center phenomenal card and if you're a fan of zabinajad this is great i also love the card art and the fact that they're going back they're not just highlighting, you know, they did Sergachev with the Montreal Canadiens, for example, and the Zabinajad as a Ottawa Senator. So a great card here and a really, really fun one. But then they went and did it. I don't know how many of my younger followers actually know Zdeno Chara didn't start out as an Ottawa Senator, if you even remember that, or a Boston Bruin. He was a New York Islander. And uh, man, just, man, Milbury. My goodness, what an awful general manager. Regardless, this is the best card in the game, guys. Uh, Zidane Ochara, if you remember back in NHL 20, his winter national card literally broke the game. And I'm glad that he gets a highlighted card. And I'm also really happy that it happened in July. So it's not like this is middle of GWC or anything like that. We get to have some fun now as it is July 6 foot 9. I said it earlier, you cannot teach size in this game. There is a reason why he was so overpowering, and it's because you simply can't get by him on the blue line. If you are coming down the zone and you have someone who knows how to play a little bit or play position half decently, it is just damn near impossible to get around Zdeno Chara. And when you combine the fact he's got 94 speed and 95 acceleration, this is just a fun card. I can't wait to get him. And uh, yeah, guys, there's... It is going to be frustrating, but fun because it is near the end game. But this is uh, an awesome card and uh, props to EA for giving them, you know, the, the meme master set item that we all hate but love in the 98 Zdeno Chara. So guys, there's a bunch of sets and everything for those upgraded 96s. Use them. I don't want to break down every single one because we're so late in the year that, you know, you can make that decision. If you really want that card, go ahead. They're end game cards. Uh, there's really no need to overthink it or, you know, just have some fun experiment. Use this time if you're still playing to get ready for NHL 22 because regardless of the things they add in, Learning this kind of stuff and how well you play with bigger players or smaller ones like Howie Morenz, for example, uh, is really going to go a long way next year, especially if this is like your first real year of, uh, of trying to get better. And, and again, if you're coming from my channel, most of it's tips and content. So um, it's really going to play into that. But guys, thank you for watching. And again, please subscribe for daily NHL content. It'll be the first place to get any of the NHL 22 news as I will uh, post immediately. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one.